Holy banana sack. You guys. <sighs> guys welcome back to another story of the day let's get into it i'm eating right now because i'm in a freaking time crunch i'm sorry i haven't eaten since breakfast it's 5 42 not good for my adhd i get real hangry real fast so basically today has just been like a not necessarily a shit show but it's just like you know one o'clock i get my oil changed in reno then i have to drive to sacramento because i had to do errands my first errand that i have to run stop park steam is coming out the hood of my car this has never happened to me you guys i call the dude who's saying you need to get it checked out we have a warranty call this 1-800 number okay call this 1-800 number she's saying that i can go anywhere to get my car checked out and they'll cover what i paid for the oil change and everything like that but anything after that the place that i got my oil change will pay for the rest of it i go to the kila kila i go to the kia dealership because it was the closest place and i know that they'll know what's going on they have all the tools whatever they need you know all the equipment to run a diagnostic diagnosis diagnostic check i don't speak car i'm like yo i need my car checked out i know you're probably super busy but there's smoke coming out of my car and i don't know what to do like I, this has never happened to me like i don't know we aren't taught this in school we're not taught anything how to change a tire nothing it's not going to be ready for like three or four days he's like i'm super busy right now i have no time to squeeze you in we close at six but all my diagnosis people diagnostic people I don't know. Already went home. Close at six, but yet it's 4.30 and you have no one here to check my car. That doesn't make any sense to me. There's nothing he can do. He's saying that I have to rent a car. <sighs> So I call back the other guy, the original guy who did my oil. And I say, look, Kia is super backed up right now. They want to keep my car for a couple days. They want me to have a rental. Are you going to pay for it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not paying for it. Are you going to pay for it? I'm very, I'm a very blunt person. You know, like I don't sugarcoat things. Like I'm very just like to the point. People don't like it. You guys think that you like blunt people and like, yeah, just tell me how it is no and he goes has anyone checked out of the hood and i was like no me i don't know like i don't i don't know you know like i don't know what's going on with the hood like that is something i know how to change a tire and pump air into my tires but when it comes to under the hood that's like a whole ass thing you know what i mean and he's like okay i want you to pop the hood i'm in kia dealership five men are watching me the people who sell the cars are just watching me they're literally maybe 25 feet away pop the hood the cap to the oil was completely off where you unlatch the hood that's where the cap for the oil was and i'm on the phone with him and i was like oh my gosh the cap was off screwed it back on and he's like i need you to check the oil that's something i do know how to do i do know how to check the oil okay i know it's the thing you pull it out you see where the level's at i know that checking the oil to me it looks solid and i'm like yo like it's full mind you you guys the entire Entire hood of my car is completely covered in oil. That's why it was smoking. The oil on the engine was getting hot and so it started smoking out. Well, I have to take it to some steamer place to get it steamed off and then he's gonna pay for it. And meanwhile, you guys, I had so many errands to do. This was such a drag, but he was like really sorry. And it's like, I'm not even mad. Could have been a worse situation. It was a learning experience for me. I'm by myself. I'm just like, this has never happened to me before. I don't even know what to do. What's the first thing people do? in this situation thank you guys so much for watching my story of the day and i will catch you guys tomorrow don't forget you guys to get that oil change you can't remember the last time you got it go get it it's good to take care of your car please take care of your car i will see you guys tomorrow and thank you so much for watching bye